familiar with the phrase or term the drop point of a grease. So the drop point is the temperature at which the oil and the soap, which are the two key components in my grease, separate out. So when my temperature exceeds this, the oil will start to leach out of my grease, as you can see here. So when I see telltale signs of oil trails coming from a bearing, this tells me one surefire thing. What's in that bearing is no longer grease. It's mainly soap, and I'm in trouble. Because I can hardly go around with a syringe of oil and squirt it back in through the grease nipple and, and say, it'll mix up again. You're all right, don't worry. No, it doesn't work that way. That's got to come out now. That's got to come out, and it's got to be replaced. I've seen bearings on ovens where the bearing temperature is 150 degrees, 160 degrees, something like that. And two months into the installation of a new bearing, I see oil droplets on the new bearing. Mm -mm. Dig in a bit deeper. What you find is, yes, the installation people did use the right grease, but the installation people didn't clean out the transportation grease. You have high temperature bearing applications? Do you clean out the transportation grease? Because that's going to lead to failure. Because that transportation grease isn't high temperature. It won't survive the temperatures that you're dealing with. And you'll have failure of that lower temperature transportation grease, resulting in failure of the entire grease that's in that bearing, resulting in failure of the bearing, maybe in a couple of days, if not a couple of months. So a systematic failure. Your system for installation failed. Everybody did the right job, but the job was wrong.